Yes, this is a story that I have to tell about um, an episode I had 20 years ago where I stayed awake 40 days. And uh, in this room over here, that's now uh, just a concrete slab, I was work, I was living, in, and um, my thoughts, I, ha I, I later found I had schizoaffective disorder, and my thoughts would begin to race, they would race the whole 40 days about religious uh, information, uh, because I'm a preacher's son, and um, I would actually get to thinking, and my thoughts would cause me to, uh, I don't know if you've ever had a head rush, from standing up too fast, but my the the room would kind of start to go gray like that, and um, and my uh, my body would tingle, and I would lay down, and that happened three times. And when I would lay down, the blood went to my head, and it, the room would stop stop closing in with the gray look, and the tingling would stop. And so it wasn't like a full blackout; it was just like a head rush that that turned into my whole body tingling and um, and it was my thoughts driving me to that point uh, and I came out here in this uh, spot there there is flowers that bloom around this this circle here and I came out in a full moon it was a full moon and I came out and um, my family and my ex-wife uh, and certain friends that I thought should love me had sort of wished me off on my own and no support from them um, at all. And I felt that they did not love me and wished that I was dead and wished that I would die. And it, it was depressing. Um, um, and I'll go into that in more detail. But I pray to God, would he take my life and I expressed my desire for him to take my life. And I began to black out again. And uh, from my thoughts, uh, the, the, I started to have a, like that head rush feeling where you stand up. But my whole body was tingling. And when I laid down again, um, it lasted a little while. But um, then everything cleared up and, and uh, the blood, you know went into the right parts of my brain or whatever and um and I didn't know that was going on but it was awful spiritual experience to ask God to take my life and to have a major head rush and tingling all over my body but it is an explanation the body will do this um I found that out uh you know by this so but I do believe it was a spiritual experience at the same time um uh, because of my awakening and learning my purpose in life and that I have something to live for. Uh, prior to that, I had, um, and I had these friends over here that loved me, uh, that I ended up making a best friend with, uh, a friend over here. Um, and so, uh, God showed me that I had purpose. I had friends. I had, a, I had people coming to me all the time that would love me and care for me. And so I didn't have to be dependent on, people who I just thought stereotyped should take care of me and love me. And so, um, but prior to this, I had uh, confronted God with three suicidal ideas. Um, and he put obstacles in front of those ideas that I had. Um, so, um, so anyway, um, that was my phone. Um, so the obstacles God put in my way were, uh, the train down here has something in its way that knocks, knocks things out of its way, the train, and the trolley that's downtown in Memphis has a thing board that knocks things out of its way, so you can't get in front of those trains, in front of those trolleys, and then the Mud Island Bridge was closed, which would be probably a good place to jump off of. Uh, going over to Mud Island, there's there's that. So there was they were kind of closed, and it was where you couldn't just try to go kill yourself off of the bridges downtown. Though those options are kind of um, not like that as well. So um, so God put those obstacles there before this had happened. 
and this was sort of an eye-opening experience to to have later I did find out that the brain is was doing that to me causing me to to black out uh, recently I had I had passed out uh, on a job from major pain I had dislocated a, a foot and busted my shins and I, I ended up passing out my friend was there and um, later uh, I had I squatted and I stood up a few days later and I could have let my mind make me pass out. I honestly could have because I remembered the pain and how I had passed out from the pain. And even though in this in Walmart I was just squatting and standing up, I felt the the, the blackout surge that that you get whenever you stand up and quick like that and. Um, to be honest, I was like, I could see how my mind could just take me there. And so I've been drinking a little bit of the Cokes my friend had that day. Uh, for some reason, God said, hey, drink a Coke when you feel a little lightheaded and it'll perk you up. And so my friend offered me a Coke that day. I drank it. Now I've been drinking a little bit of Cokes, because, just maybe one a day, because I don't um, I don't drink caffeine. But, um, but just to be perked up a little bit and my mind kind of focusing a little better, it, it's, it seems to help a little bit. Um, so anyway, this is my story and I'm going to put this on YouTube. Um, and maybe it'll help you if you're suicidal. You'll see that God puts obstacles in our way not to kill ourselves. And that God gives us purpose. And, um, and that uh, every day uh, in the future uh, there will be a day when everyone will love you and respect you because it's the right thing to do.